All made to last. It's not the lasting, it's the finishing the projects in the first place that I'd have trouble with. Hi there, and welcome back to Today We Craft. Today I've got something a bit different for you. We are going to be looking inside this month's Sew Magazine. So we're also going to be doing a Sew Along With Me video to show you how to make the projects enclosed, just in case you need a bit of extra help. So with this edition comes a simplicity pattern, K9124. It's a lovely sort of open fronted kimono type top. And a bit late in the day, um, but I have some lovely Christmassy projects as well. This is a February edition, February 23. <laughs> oh well, I guess we can get started for next year. On the front cover, we have the main items which are included in the magazine. 10 styles to stitch. Easiest ever top, upcycled dungarees. Ooh, dungarees. A pleat perfect skirt. I can never get my pleats to stay where they're supposed to be. All made to last. It's not the lasting, it's the finish and the projects in the first place that I'd have trouble with. We also have some other really interesting projects like this embroidered cushion, which you can find on page 40. Oh, are the dungarees for kids? That's disappointing. Kids always get the best clothes, it's not fair. Oh, I really love this cottage core style pattern. This one's from Simplicity and features a sweetheart neckline, attractive waist starts and lots of gorgeous gathers. I think I might have to find that. These are lots of new patterns that have come out from Simplicity. Simplicity patterns really are fantastic. The clue really is in the name. And look, it has pockets. That would be the perfect skirt for a Buckingham Palace garden party that I won't be invited to. Hmm, new pattern brand, Know Me. I do not know Know Me. Perhaps I ought to know Know Me better. New Year Know Me. Ah, oh, in addition to the two patterns that come with the actual magazine itself, you can download another one apparently. Crop trousers, not really my style, but they might be yours. I'm not saying that you should, but you might be able to screenshot this and be able to download the pattern. Not saying you should, but you could. Master the art of bag making. Oh, I really should do that. I love a bag. Last year at the village show, I was beaten in the handicraft section by a lady who made a beautiful embroidered sewing bag. I'll get you this year. So over at Patterns, I also really highly recommend, mostly because they're just really good value for money. So they're available from £6.50 and a lot of them really are. Oh, look at this little Mia coat. Or oh, doesn't she just look so precious? Apparently this is from a new book that's come out. Restyle and restitch for little ones. I'm not sure if you can see that. That's a really cute book cover. And we've all been there. Love a bit of cannibalization. I mean cannibalizing clothes, not cannibalizing children. That would be weird. Moving on. I really love the handwritten element of this book. Juliet's done an article sharing her top tricks for crafting on a budget. Do you know my number one top tip for being able to craft on a budget? Go to a charity shop and find clothes that you can, like I say, cannibalize. Secondhand fabric is a fraction of the cost of new. And don't get me wrong, I'm as much a fabric curator as the next person. But if you want to get a large quantity of good quality fabric, charity shops, you can't go wrong. And who doesn't love a bit of thrifting? This is a really lovely, simple style of dress. And depending on what you make it from, it can be really quite fancy or casual. I wonder what this would look like in a sort of a velvet fabric. Ooh, maybe in like a bottle green with a nice wide belt with some glam on it. Pretty. Time to sew, bro. Come on, guys, we need more male sewers. Sewing is not just for girls. If you're a bloke and you're watching this channel, comment below. We love you guys. Make yourself known. I don't know what I love more, this Arbor shirt or this guy's amazing tash. Oh, there's a really great tutorial here on smocking. I had so many smock dresses as a child that my mum made. It's really cute because I now see my little niece wearing them. They look so much better on her than they ever did on me. Ah, oh, so this embossed cushion was made using a punch needle. That's interesting. Instructions for a draft excluder. Perfect for insulating our homes during this chilly season. An embroidery hoop. I believe this is done with a plique. It looks like it's a plique rather than just being embroidered on. At home with Stuart Hillard. I decided when I hit 40 that a day doesn't give me enough scope for celebrating, so it's been a month ever since. Well, technically I'm still celebrating my 34th birthday then. Fantastic. The creative craft show. Hands up if you're going. Me, 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 me. I really should make myself some more wall banners for in here. 
another lovely project for the long winter evenings. Make our craft room mascot, Scarlet the Sewing Doll. Her name is Scarlet, but her hair is blue. That's called irony. Oh, I love the pattern for the scissors holster though. I bet these are really fantastic projects for kids as well. Oh, and there's a needle case. Oh, I love these dungies. Pattern by Burnside Bibbs. I'll have to check that out. Story all about how teddy bears first came about. My mum collected teddy bears when I was a child. Well, I think she probably collected them from before I was a child, but you know what I mean. Oh, an interview with the teddy bear expert from the repair shop. The repair shop, coincidentally, is filmed at the Wilden Downer Museum, which is not too far from my house, to be honest. Oh, that is really cute. Sleeping kitty cat. Maybe I could make one for Tilly. It would last all of about five seconds. Oh, and I could make myself a huggable heart for, you know, when I'm sad and alone. So very alone. Oh, that whale is absolutely fantastic. Made by Betsy. Good work, Betsy. If you want to share any of the projects that you make using one of our tutorials, you can do so on Instagram here. Oh, that's good. Some information on some sewing podcasts. I'll definitely have to check that out. Join Australian host Louise Sherry as she chats with an array of Aussie makers about all things crafty. What is not to love about that? Lots more available online. Oh, who doesn't love their local craft shop? Let us know yours in the comments below. Back in Herefordshire, I was really lucky to live just around the corner from Doughty's Fabric. Oh, I could spend my whole life there. Are any of these local to Sussex? Mm, nope, not this month. Then we have several pages of patterns for the lovely projects that are included in the edition. Oh, I'll definitely be getting next month's. Look at that pattern. That is very me. And you know what? Those, I know they're not supposed to be, but they would make great pajamas. That's some really great tips on how to care for your sewing machine. I'm considering doing a video on how to service a sewing machine. Do you think I should? Let me know. Oh my goodness, what is this? Fluffmonger owner Jenny Madge chats sustainable sewing supplies and the inspiration behind her personable plushies and patterns. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Look at that. Is that a llama or a kangaroo? I can't tell, but it's cute. Oh, and look at the little otter. He's so sweet. Oh, I'm definitely going to be checking her out. And that's it. Thank you for joining us today as we look through this month's Sew Magazine. In our next video, we're going to be showing you how to make this fantastic open kimono style top. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so you find out about future videos. You can also head over to our website, todaywecraft.com and sign up to our newsletter to be the first to hear about new videos as they come out. See you next time. If you have a moment, here's some more videos that we think you might enjoy.